All right, guys, it is now day 13. The Glen Pool Millionaires still have that number one spot. It was a room with high energy and some confusion about where to put their money. $60,000. HHR and HHR. Okay, okay. sure, that's a lot of money. How about 30000 Okay, 30000 Teams of students from schools across Oklahoma gave it their best shots, competing in the 8th Annual Student Investor Challenge put on by Junior Achievement of Oklahoma. On the floor, volunteer traders were ready to take the buys from students like Casey Harmon. I'm going to buy 30000 in hotels, which is HHR, is their ticker symbol. They, hotels are really unpredictable, but we have a lot of money right now. And how many shares? Uh, $30,000. 30, the teams each had $500,000 to trade with, and as they watched the ticker change values, they had to make some tough decisions and fast. you got to give me that amount that you want to buy, but we got to do this quick. 100000 And more Gibson? Yeah. They tried to hedge their bets to hold on to their cash and make their holdings grow. Electric has uh, kind of a higher risk, I think, so I wanted to put something in something that would go up, hopefully. And Grove is kind of a lower risk, so that will have money at least. So that's what that's what I'm hoping for personally. So good luck to you. Thank you. Mentors from the business community tried to keep them on track. Okay, so we're going to be concentrated in trading. What happened? Day eight, it just clicked over. How are we doing on a uh, Bama? Are we up? Belinda Clanton of Junior Achievement is heading up the event. So you have to be aggressive. You have to know what you want. You have to speak for your team. This event engages students in so many ways. They learn that major world news events can change the market in a snap. The only thing that's stable is healthcare. A mock news flash stops them in their tracks. The Associated Press today is reporting an imminent Teamster strike, though, that threatens to paralyze the transportation industry. What did you learn from that news flash? Oh, my God. I learned so much. Like, we need to take our money out of transportation and put it to consumers because they went up. Walmart, Best Buy, they all just went up. All the consumer prices just went to the sky. Now, our strategies did not go well. It's hoped this event will prepare students for the economics of the real world and will teach them financial literacy. The event lasts two days and some 800 students are taking part. For ONR, I'm Liz Exon.